I'm Kelly, and you're watching 30 Miles Out. What? 30, 30 Miles, miles out, out, kayak, kayak fishing, fishing charters. charters. What? Yeah, you're right. You're watching 30 Miles Out, kayak fishing TV. 30 Miles Out is presented by McCain High Performance Graphite Rods. Make every cast count. So I got Alec and Sergio with me here today. We're in a Reds' Pass. We got Raging Wind. We got Teresa. And we're gonna go try to find some fish. I think I know a protected spot. Let's go check it out. I recently had a viewer ask me to make a, a video of some of my hot spots in Rockport since I moved to Pensacola. Well, this is actually one of them. We call it the water slide. It's in Aransas Pass. It's next to an old airport that's now an RV park. You can see it right there where it says Aransas Pass Airport. This is a public kayak launch. It's not a big secret. We've been guiding and fishing here for a long time. We love it. It's very consistent. It's full of mangroves and it's got turtle grass on the bottom, which is like carpet and makes the water gin clear all the time. They get a little bigger. This one's close to legal. He's a solid uh, uh, 14. What we love about this spot is its versatility. It starts off with traditional East Texas marsh, turns into oyster reef and turtle grass flats. Then the old intercoastal waterway cuts across, which gives you some deep water. And though, there's a barrier island that protects us from the south wind. So I'm showing Alec how to walk the dog with his lure. <laughs> we throw it out there, fix a knot, and whack! Oh, Look at, oh that's no a nice red. fish, brother. Oh, it's a speck, dude. Oh, it's a speck? Wow. <laughs> Man, what a pretty fish. Here we are at um, the old intercoastal waterway. They seem to be holding at about two to six foot, you say, Alex? Yeah, just about. Yeah, and uh, throwing top waters, we got a real overcast day. It's in the 70s. And uh, I think we got a keeper here. Top water. Gulp on popping cork has been doing real good for us. Oh, that's a big one. Is that, a, is that even a speck? It's a red. It's a red. <laughs> What's great about the water slide is this giant spoil island. It's super tall and it really protects us from the south wind, and you can hear that wind howling. Ah. In the boat, put your bail so you have some uh, slack to work with, and then just set your rod in that hole. There you go. Now oh, you're talking yeah. business. What? That just happened. That just happened. <laughs> yes, ma'am. That's a nice fish. 19. 19? What is the point? Just done. What? <laughs> It'll be hot. Oh, I yeah, saw baby. that, bro. <laughs> I can't even talk to the camera for Alec and Sergio hanging fish. High rod tip. Lift your rod and reel down. There you go. Much easier, huh? We're in the fall, 72 degrees, super overcast, nasty, wind blowing 17 to 20. Hunk it up against this island, drops off into the intercoastal canal. We're fishing the flats and the drop. Top water and gulp on popping cork. And it is doing the trick. First time with your top water, right? Uh, well, we're walking the dog here on the flats and the reds and the trout are just blowing up. What do you think about that walking the dog business? Oh man, it's something special. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun, huh? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Like Ty says, it'll ruin you. It will. <laughs> what you got, girl? Oh, wow. <laughs> Good job. Thank goodness for the sanctuary of that island. That wind is ripping. Yeah. 
Good times? Very good times. Enjoyed it. At the end today, this was the ticket. Foot and a half a liter. Boom. <laughs> no, it was good that, it, you know, I, we got to try the, the Hobie Outback because, you know, now I can justify it to my wife. Yeah. You know. So, yeah, the water slide is a producer. So this is another day, a day that Teresa and I and Damien went out and uh, we had a lot of fun. Same area. Same techniques. That's a red tail. Pulling you right into them. I see some more tails back there. Nice size, nice size, huh? Oh, wow. Look at that wake. Yeah, baby. Nice. That wasn't even the one I was aiming for, man. That one For about 30 minutes, we had noticed something flipping around on the surface. We assumed it was a dying duck with all the duck hunters around. But when we got up on it, we realized it was something different. Drum. We're going to beat Cody's record in a minute. Water slide just keeps on producing. <laughs> Soft dying strikes again, y'all. My home water. Yeah, 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 yeah. Knock it off, buddy. Knock it off. You've never seen a Paul Brown soft dine that looks like that. It's a suspension bait. It slowly sinks and you twitch, twitch, twitch. And uh, in a little bit deeper water, it's amazing. I lost my leader on this rod, if you didn't notice. I broke off on a redfish on top water. Uh, going to Paul Dines. Here come the boat. I gotta roll. Yeah, yeah, folks. It's a keeper. It's a keeper. Oh, yeah. Fish grip in the lift saves you from treble hooks. Got another one, got another one. This is legal. Oh, yeah, he's 15. He's a good sized trout. Soft Dines doing the trick, y'all. Mm. Here's another one. Got a little runt red. Right. There, just throwing the grass. Coop Jr., pink head, white body. Killa, 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 killa. Get on. There he goes. And out on the grass. Let's keep on working this little reef or this little island right here. We got some protection from the breeze. This sure is a pretty spot, Teresa. Well, we've worked all these islands. We've been getting up early for a couple days, dead tired. Um, we're gonna throw some top water on the way out here. This is a beautiful point right here. It's a sandy, sandy, super clear point. You can see how crystal gin clear it is. Uh, this is kind of the lunch spot, the rest spot. Yeah, I talk enough for both of us. Woo! Fish on over here. That's what I'm talking about. And look, I got another one on. He looked a lot like the other one I had. Oh, sweet. You've been doing good on the reds. I got one red, one trout. The end of that blue is 20. Is he at the end of that blue? Man, he is close. <laughs> right at it, dude. <laughs> the red was about 24. Trout's about 17. Nice. Uh, this one's right at 20. All top water. Yeah. We're in Aransas Pass, Texas, getting on some reds. What? When did you start kayak fishing? Really getting into it about, about two years ago. Each time I go out, it'll be a new learning process. Know the signs to look for to keep from getting skunked all the time. How long have you been watching the show? A couple years. 
Cool. Since the addiction started, <laughs> I'm looking up how to kayak fish, and that's the first thing that comes up. We you know, learned a lot from it. What about this tarpon 14? I love it. I really do. It's stable, quick, bites the wind down here yeah. really well. I'm going to talk to Kelly here about something I used to do a lot of. This is a highly effective method, uh, especially if you're in a regular paddle yak uh, for cruising around the flats. It's called crab walking, and you sit side saddle. Kelly's going to tell you a little bit about how he's using it to negotiate this flat. When I'm just in the shallow water, just turn sideways, sit side saddle, and if I need to move, I can drift with my feet up, drift downwind. If I see something, I can just dig my heels in and stop. If I need to move to the side, I just kind of shuffle. Really stock up on some on tail and reds that way. Don't make any noise. Just get you know five, ten feet from them. That's no problem. So he's basically walking up on the fish while seated in the kayak. You're sitting low in a regular seated yak. There's no better way to stalk fish on the flats. The hardest part is just catching them once you see them. Crab walking, give it a shot. All right, I gotta head back in. I'm gonna make a drift across this flat, throw some, see what else we can catch. It's been a decent morning, a little rainy. We're finding some fish. Uh, good. It's about 24. 24 incher, man. Bam. Well, Kelly and I can see what else we can't find out here on the flats. Just meandering around. What? Yeah, just walking the dog. I don't want a clown. Spook Junior. Oh, oh man, he just brutalized it, y'all. Whoa, that's a nice fish. Oh yeah, I love that sound. Wow, he just slammed it. Turn him a drag a little bit. Wow, that was an awesome take. Man, I wish I could have got that on film, guys. Yeah, beautiful red. Killed it, killed it. Take a breath, boy. Fish gripping the lip time. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about, man. That was a big explosion. I thought he was a lot bigger, actually. Than he was fighting. Twenty-one. That's what I'm talking about. I'm tired. You watching thirty miles out? <laughs> that's some weird shit. That's what I'm talking about. So there you go. One of my favorite places, and Teresa's favorite places, while living in Rockport, was actually in Aranza's Pass, the water slide. I had one of my biggest blow ups on top water, redfish over there. So if you're ever in Aransas Pass, exit on Johnston Street, take a left, and you'll see the water park and the baseball diamonds, and you'll see the kayak launch back there, right, Teresa? Yeah, I think it's Johnston Street. Hope to see y'all again real soon. I'd like to thank all my sponsors, and I'd like to thank the What Nation for always being there for me. I love doing this. Thank y'all for giving me the support. Thank y'all for giving Teresa the support that y'all have for years. We'll catch you next time right here on 30 Miles Out. Take me for tacos. <laughs> <laughs>